studio senior this year. Good evening, I'm Jake Tapper, and you just watched a remarkable event, a live town hall meeting with President Obama. He spoke with CNN's Anderson Cooper and real people from across the political spectrum about guns and gun violence and gun control. Let's talk about it. I'm joined here in Washington by an all-star group of CNN analysts and experts. Let's get some initial reaction uh, from some of our commentators here. Hugh Hewitt, uh, you're a skeptic of President Obama, a skeptic of his proposals. What did you think? Did he convince anyone in that room if he didn't convince you? No, I'm very disappointed. It was a terrific setting. Anderson Cooper opened with a very tough set of questions about why do you talk about confiscation, why do you talk about Australia, what's your trust deficit. Anderson closed with tough questions. He got tough questions from Kea. He got tough questions from Kimberly, from Sheriff Paul. He answered none of them. It's not a conspiracy to worry about this president's abuse of power. He put out an unconstitutional executive order about immigration. He unconstitutionally limited Hobby Lobby's rights. It is not a conspiracy to be concerned about where he's going and to mock, minimize, and to uh, denigrate the people whom you ought to be serving is deeply disappointing. I was in a lot of policy discussions, right. a lot of issues, including issues around uh, gun control and crime and violence. And nothing that the conspiracy theorists believe about what President Obama's true intentions are was ever uttered. Jake, any I world, by no any world. Let's, 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 Anderson Cooper asked a very important question. Why do you keep bringing up Australia, where guns were confiscated? He can't answer a direct question. You must, did it drive you crazy that he cannot answer no. a question? But, but but guns what he hasn't done is propose anything here. like what is done in Australia. He can say he admires what why they did in response to mass shootings, but he hasn't proposed, I'll, as President of the United let, States, anything like that. And he's never talked about it in policy debates inside the White House. But he did call for an assault weapons ban in 2013. Uh, that legislation was and supported by just, the Republican just wait, president. Just wait. That, that, that legislation went to the floor. Dianne Feinstein, it was not passed. But if he's capable of and interested in banning an entire category, not just of rifles, but also handguns that fell into that, into that ban, why is it a conspiracy that I think he wants to ban some guns? I guess for me, I'm simply I, taking him at his word. For me, for me here, here's the thing. I never know when I'm trying to get a bill passed what the actual objective of, of this person is or that person is. I work with Newt Gingrich on criminal justice legislation. We don't see eye to eye on very many things. But when there's one thing you can't agree on, you should get that done. Oh, my, no, problem no, no, no. Is, my problem they is the there's Omni. stuff we can get. We, we, they had Omni on the desk in December. They this could is have the asked massive, for just any, to explain, it's our, the, the massive, Omni, spend, the the big massive spending, spending bill. bill. Yeah. Everything in the world was on the table. The president did not ask for funding for FBI agents. The president did not ask for funding for when ATF he agents. Stuff, well, he could have had whatever. Ask. No. Let me ask you, I'm going to ask well, I, I, When I was in the White House Counsel's Office, I was not an exalted senior staffer like Jay or Van. And I wasn't a prosecutor. I was a constitutional lawyer, and that's what I continue to teach. The reason that is not a small issue. In a republic of laws, it is not up to the president to decide who is a gun dealer or not. It is up to the Congress. Congress of the United States. And there is a doctrine called void for vagueness. And when the president said tonight, rather blithely, we're going to tell you if you're breaking the law, what he was saying, he was putting everyone in jeopardy of prosecution without a rule out there saying, what is a gun dealer? And I'll turn to Harry. How much, how much ambiguity did you hear in that? Here? But I'll, I'll oh, time. Now there's a monopoly on effective action. This president has actually stepped forward and tried to do something. And part of the problem we have right now is most people sit here and give you a thousand reasons why what he is talking about won't work and they won't tell you what will work. What, what do you have besides being an apologist for the status quo right now? I'd be happy to talk to you about the and I'm telling you what works. The House of Representatives that increases mental health funding and provides for a list that can be effectively cross-checked, which the president could have asked for in the omnibus negotiation, which he did not because he is interested in constructing a potential. Let's go to Harry, uh, Harry, about what works, and then Sonny. Harry. Yeah, I, I tell you what works. I just gave you an example of New York and Chicago. It works, but nobody wants to look at it because every time a police officer makes an arrest, somebody's crying about because somebody's got a broken finger or something when he takes him down. Hey, I don't know what I, you're the Hold Listen, you got a president. First of all, hold, hold on, Jay. Jay, yeah, but not in hold Chicago on. and not in other major Go cities. On, Harry. What, what works, Harry? Right? What, what, works what works is effective law enforcement and effective prosecution. It worked plus, in New York, plus, and it can work everywhere else. Hold on. Plus, at one point during the town hall, President Obama talked about uh, his view about the need for ATF agents. This is when a, uh, uh, the sheriff was talking about why aren't there more ATF agents sure. enforcing the laws already on the books. Take a listen to what the president had to say. One of the most frustrating things that, that I hear is when people say, 
who are opposed to any further laws, why don't you just enforce the laws that are on the books? And those very same members of Congress then cut ATF budgets to make it impossible to enforce the law. So, as, 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 so well, would be. but why yeah. not? I mean, why not fund that part of it? But he didn't ask for it. I mean, the Omni, he could ask for it. But he's asking but, for it now. Forget but, about but, December but, and the Omni. Five weeks too late. Now you got to wait for the next appropriation cycle for an entire year. But he also brought up a mythical van, a van in Indiana that gets loaded with guns and driven to Chicago. I just want to ask a prosecutor, because I'm not a prosecutor and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn. Have you ever <laughs> heard of a case like that? I have not heard of a case like that, but I suspect that it exists. I do suspect okay. that it exists because I how do, do these how I think do we these funds, about it. I think we should, how, how, we should how, be creating laws based on your suspicion that these these crimes exist. Hi, this is Hugh Hewitt. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Click right here to watch previous ones that you may not have seen and click right here to subscribe to get all of them. And this is what you really need to do is click right here to subscribe. Thanks for coming by. Don't miss a minute of any of the Hugh Hewitt YouTubes.